Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Pisces? Firstly, I'd like to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallows Eve. We are at the beginning stages of the holidays, so I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Anyways, let's get into your reading uh, Pisces. I'm not sure if I said, I hope I said Pisces. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get into your reading, Pisces. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels. What are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2021? What is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to hear at this present time? Spirit guides. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, let's get into it. Your first card, Pisces, is the High Priestess very intuitive pisces i feel that for a lot of you guys you are experiencing a lot of lucid dreams pay attention to that because i feel that they're showing you um the easiest route or the easiest form to manifest what you're trying to draw into your life the high priestess can also represent um clarity in regards to a situation where perhaps you feel like you're a bit confused or uh, like people are not being completely honest with you. That's quickly going to be unfolding. I'm hearing truths are going to be coming out uh, for this month of October. Now your next card here is the Six of Cups. So it could be a truth in regards to something from the past. Could have been a situation um, or a person that you were dealing with in the past where perhaps you didn't get a lot of clarity. Perhaps there was um, some type of confusion in regards to the situation uh, the reason i say that is the six of cups in this deck you can see uh someone from i'm not sure if you guys can see it it's pretty dark but you can see someone there right at the uh almost at the back looking towards these two people so i feel like there could have been some revelations that are going to be experienced in the month of october that could have been to do with friends or people that you choose to be, surround yourself with. Um, what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, it's the revealing of their true nature or their true intentions. So for some of you guys, it could be um, finding out that a friend or someone that you trusted um, hasn't been completely honest with you or they've been keeping or hiding something uh, that they were aware of. Now, the next card here is the wheel. So it's almost like I feel that no matter how hard they try to uh, portray themselves as being honest and wanting what's best for you, I feel like whatever, whatever choices they made um, was coming from being spiteful. Um, it could have been almost like they're viewing you as a person that, you know, you're very plentiful in your life. Um, they may see you as or consider you as being lucky or being a person um, that has possessions or uh, material things that they wish they could have. So there is like envy or jealousy there surrounding that. However, what Spirit is telling you is there's no need to uh, protect yourself as you are protected Pisces. And I feel like I said, what they're telling me here is there are a lot of lucid dreams that you're going to be experiencing in this month of october where in the dreams it's almost like your spirit guides are revealing to you people's true intentions so pay attention to that now your next card here is the ten of cups um so the ten of cups is that of the family dynamic what is considered quote unquote your home and i feel that for a lot of you guys there is you're gonna notice the more you start to pull away from people right out people that are outside of your immediate family i feel that the more you start to pull away from that type of energy the more your life becomes more plentiful less dramatic uh or having less drama and you're going to be experiencing almost a windfall of good luck pisces in the next coming month uh, for this month of october with the ten of cups and the wheel card here this is symbolizing good luck. This is symbolizing blessings that are coming your way that are no longer restricted by other people's energy. So again, my advice, especially those of you guys that have a very big circle, try the best you can for the month of October to be a little bit more selective of the people that you choose to be around. 
I feel that this is going to help you not only with focus, but it's also going to help you with not being around people that are creating drama or creating resistance in your energy to be able to manifest that what you're trying to bring towards you. I feel like what I'm hearing is things are going to be so much easier, and I think it has a lot to do with uh, the people that you choose to allow to be around you. So that's going to be crucial and very important. Now, your next card is the temperance card. So temperance is patience, but it also represents healing. So I feel that, again, there is what I'm hearing is a purging of energies. And I feel that for a lot of you Pisces out there, um, the month, the previous months, you've been experiencing almost like a roller coaster type of emotions. Um where there's like drama or there is outside people influencing uh, you or influencing your connection or your connections. And I feel that the more you purge yourself from that type of energy, the more balanced your life's going to become. Not only that, but you're going to genuinely see blessings being bestowed upon you because there's no longer the resistance of envy, of jealousy or anything like that. So beautiful reading, Pisces. I want to wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.